My mom told me not to talk to strangers on the internet, but I'm glad I didn't listen. We are the Certified Nunas, your sisters in the love of Asian entertainment. Hi, I'm Amanda. I'm Jesse. I'm Natalia. And I'm Sky. And today, we're bringing them back. You thought one episode about Lee Seung Gi wasn't enough. You thought two episodes about Lee Seung Gi <laughs> wasn't enough. Well, it turns out that we've accidentally brought him back, sort of, for a third episode. Because today, we are going to talk about the variety show on Netflix called Busted, of which he is a member of the second season that just started last week. But before we do that, what's everyone been watching? I started watching uh, the Thai version of Endless Love, which there's like a million versions. There's like a Korean version and a, a, there's a lot of versions. I mean, the first version is like a movie from the 80s or something, a, like an English movie from the 80s. But um, it stars Lee, I don't know what his Thai name is, but... His name's Lee, and he's really pretty, and he cries really pretty, which is good because it's a very tragic story, and he cries, like, all the time. Every (laughs) single episode, he's crying. But he and the lead are really adorable together, so I quite enjoy it, even though it's sad. And I think it feels like the way it's set up, they're heading for a happy ending. It's just going to take a while. So, fingers crossed. Any of you who've actually watched it, and maybe you're laughing at me right now, let me live in my little bubble. <laughs> so, and the other thing, like that, I'm super, super excited about that I started is called Never Twice. It's a weekender, and it's so good, you guys. Like so good. I'm like, I just, I love it. I'm, I, I get to like the fourth episode on the weekend, and I'm like, more, 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 more. I want more. It's beautiful found family like old lady who runs an inn at the bottom of the hill and the like big conglomerate hotel at the top of the hill and the Chai Bo family that runs the hotel and all these people whose lives have been affected negatively by the hotel all they don't even realize that they're all related to the hotel in some way and they all wind up living at this in this motel at the bottom of the hill and so, like, there's the old lady, and then her, like, first love shows up and is, like, and she's, like, get out, you jerk. And he's, like, I need a place to stay for the night. So now he's living at the inn, even though she keeps threatening to kick him out every night. And uh, and then there's these two, like, single 50-year-olds who are, like, grifters, and they live in the hotel, and they are in the motel, and they've lived there forever. She treats them like they're her kids. And then this married couple shows up and they're basically this is all in like the first episode. Basically, this married couple have lost their jobs. Their lives are over. They've decided to spend one night in the fancy hotel and then kill themselves. But they walk past this motel at the bottom of the hill and the wife is like, no, I want to stay there. I don't know why, but I feel like that's the place that I need to spend my last night on earth kind of thing. But you can't just spend a night at the motel. You have to pay for a month in advance. And she's like, (laughs) honey, we'll just pay for a month. It's the same price as, like, the fancy hotel at the top of the hill. So we'll pay for a month. It doesn't matter if we kill ourselves now or if we kill ourselves in a month. Let's just stay. So and they're adorable. And then there's a pro golfer who works as the pro, like, the golf pro at the hotel. And he moves Mm -hmm. into the motel. And finally there is this young pregnant widow who collapses in front of the motel after walking down from the hotel where her husband who died used to work and she collapses in front of the motel and these strangers who are all just talking about whether or not they should get rooms in the motel kind of thing see her collapse all carry her into the motel and that's the first episode and it's just like she had gives birth, you know, grandma boils some water and delivers the baby. As, the as you always do. Why, what are they doing with all this boiled water? What are they boiling all this water for? <laughs> this is always my question in these scenes. Like, what are you, like, are you sterilizing something? Like, why are you boiling? Are we going to pour <laughs> boiling water on the baby? Like, why? <laughs> well, she, and she collapses. And, I mean, okay, she walked up the hill. She walked down the hill. She's, like, nine months pregnant. She collapses. 
and they get her to her and they realize that her water's broken. And they're like, there's no, the guys are like, let's call the ambulance. And the woman's like, there's no time for an ambulance. Her water's broke. I'm like, listen, my water <laughs> broke my first kid. And it was almost 24 hours before that kid came out. Like, we had that, time. We had time. Just make an Come attempt, on. please. <laughs> like, no. Instead, we carry her into, you know, the cute golf pro carries her into the, in oh, there. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> don't know. The thing is, what was really, really nice, Um, so it all starts with her hugely pregnant being taken by the police to identify her husband's body. Oh, okay. They got married, like, and had a little staycation honeymoon because she's nine months pregnant. Mm-hmm. And he gets a phone call saying he has to go to the office. And he never comes back. And the police decide that he has committed suicide because he embezzled from his business the big fancy hotel at the top of the street, the hill. Mm-hmm. And she's like, mm, that doesn't sound true. If my husband was embezzling money from this hotel, why does he have holes in his shoes? We got no money. If my husband's stealing money, Where's why it going? Going? that doesn't make sense. And she's like, and also... Why did he marry me if he was planning to kill himself tonight? Like, none of this makes sense. And they do a little flashback, and you see how much he loved her, and it's really sad because, you know, he's dead. So, like, that's sad. But then they they pulled an old Terrius on us, I see. Yeah. (laughs) Exactly. It was very, it was very sad. But but it was, like, sad because he was, like, a super, super nice guy. And you were like, oh. Unlike Terrius. He wasn't you know, great. He yeah, wasn't he was great. great. He was just he so was I. So the four <laughs> episodes a weekend thing is that like an hour a piece? No, like half hour. It's basically the old two episodes a weekend, right? I see. So. I, I didn't, since I've never straight up watched a weekend, or I didn't know how many they considered in the weekend. I'll, yeah, I'll, no, get, you, I'll get you into you. five children one of these days. <laughs> I'll get you. <laughs> That's one of the things. This one's shorter too. Like usually the weekenders are uh, 25 weeks long. This one's supposed to be 15 weeks, so it's a oh. little shorter. So hopefully that means they won't do a lot of the like added crap that like a lot of weekenders. Mm-hmm. You sort of hit the middle and you're like, eh, you're done. like, all right, let's get this going. <laughs> <laughs> and it's. Like, literally, I get to the end of, like, the fourth episode, and I'm surprised that I've watched two hours of television because it's it's so good, and it keeps me engaged, and all the characters are good. Like, usually with The Weekender, there's a couple of characters that you just want to fast forward through or yeah. punch something. Yeah, right. There's nobody like that. Like, even the bad guys, like, the bad guys are bad guys. It's not... They're not, like, evil villains. They're just bad, regular people. And they're not, like, sometimes on a weekender, you get bad guys that um, you can tell by the way the show is framing them that you're supposed to actually like them. Like, that they're supposed to be just a buffoon or, a, you know, something. But they're actually, you're like, no, that's actually not funny. It's abusive. And I don't like that. And there's, like, Nobody like that right now. So, so far. Yeah. So <laughs> right far. now being the <laughs> operative word. Like, and they have to eat breakfast together every day because that's the rule. In this, if you miss breakfast three times in a row, you get kicked out of the motel. I <laughs> want everybody in her family at breakfast table. So. so what you're saying is I would not survive at this, uh, this motel. <laughs> <laughs> you just like start it's, sleeping downstairs, like by the table. You're just sleeping like, at the table, <laughs> waking, waking up. up when the breakfast is served. <laughs> or that's it, when you go to bed. <laughs> yeah. That could that's, work. That's, that's more that accurate, work. actually. So, hey, yeah, I'm just, I've, I've cried, like, both weekends. It's only been two weekends so far, but I've cried watching it both weekends. I've laughed so many times. I just, I love it. It's, like, the only thing that I'm, like, super looking forward to. Like, the minute it's done, I'm, like, I need more episodes. I want more episodes. So, hopefully it stays on track because I'm quite enjoying it right now. So, there's other stuff, too, but, you know. 
those are my two big ones right now. Oh, and The Untamed. I started The Untamed finally. And I know there's a lot of people that are like, Yoo-hoo, finally. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, finally. So, and I quite like that. It's it's good. It's really good. Yeah. Obviously. I mean, everybody's, yeah, loved everybody's it. been talking about <laughs> like, it. You know. Yeah. All the merch is super pretty. Oh, like, yeah, it's, it's super oh, pretty. And, oh. Everything about it is just, super pretty. It's just like was, the bad guys are gorgeous. The good guys oh, are everyone's gorgeous. gorgeous. Everybody's pretty. It's, no, I was I was making my mom watch it last weekend. Uh, well, I was watching it, and she just happened to be there and started watching it with me. And she's like, oh, she's so pretty, that actress. And I'm like, uh, ma. <laughs> oh, ma. <laughs> ma, 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 ma. Ma, that's a man. She's like, what? No. I was like, mom, yes. Yeah. And she's like, oh, why is he so beautiful? I'm like, this is the questions we ask ourselves while watching The Untamed. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So how about you, Jesse? So I am still watching Extraordinary You and still absolutely loving it. Every week it's great and I just am enjoying every bit of it. I don't, like, there's not much to say because it's so far in that it would spoil everything, but it's just, it's it's really good. And it's been kind of my, like, happy drama to watch because I've been cutting so much confetti <laughs> stupid Christmas Carol. <laughs> I've been able to watch dramas during work, which is not something that I normally could do. And it's the only reason I can watch dramas because I don't really have enough time to do anything else. Um, so while I was cutting confetti, I watched and finished this J drama called Criminologist Himimura and Mystery Writer Arasugawa or whatever. Um, I had started it like months ago and only got like one episode because it was just like a random like three o'clock and you know yeah. in the morning <laughs> yeah. like yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, drank yeah. too much wine and there we were um, <laughs> we've, so, we've all, girl we've all been there <laughs> um, <laughs> yep. been there girl I don't necessarily say I would like tell people to watch it but you know it it was a thing <laughs> like <laughs> if I hadn't been cut, cutting confetti I definitely would have dropped it if you like, it's, like, got a Sherlock vibe to it, um, but it's not Sherlock, but it, like, has, like, kind of, like, the premise of Sherlock, and then there's, like, of course, one part where they're talking about Sherlock in it, and they're, like, oh. conversing. It just, it was very weird, like, in terms of how they developed relationships, and then all of a sudden, the relationships were a huge plot in the end, and you're, like, but... Oh. I never really got here, and the the big bad person was pretty terrible, like just boring. So, but I finished it, so there's that. How many episodes all, was it? That's all that matters at the Ten. end of the day. Ten episodes. Yeah, that's not bad. That's yeah, yeah. it's J drama. It's easy, and yeah. it's on Vicky too. And okay, mm-hmm. but like, um, apparently a lot of people like it enough mm-hmm. that there's a second season out. Like, if they just oh. it was like last month, yeah. I think it came out. Like was released mm-hmm. um so i i guess people other people would like it but i just would not i wouldn't recommend it it's not it was pretty boring i also uh finished finally romance is a bonus book which also I, apparently was kind of my 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 choices on cutting confetti were kind of not good because that also tanked <laughs> so if i was watching something i was like oh oh this is this is kind of boring. Meh. Oh, yeah. this is what we're doing. I mean, like, I knew I probably should have just, like, kept it at the, the like, where I had dropped it at, like, mm. stopped watching because I knew I wasn't going to like it because mm. there was a certain point where, like, things were happening. And I was like, well, you've already, like, proven to me that this character is, like, really, like, not okay with this decision. So she has to be okay with this decision the next yeah. episode. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. And how far along was that? Like that how was many like episodes? Episode twelve or something. Yeah, okay. mm-hmm. So, yeah, but mm-hmm. I finished that too. So I guess checking it off my list of things. Mm-hmm. And then, list. Yeah. Check it twice. <laughs> want to finish these dramas even if they're not nice. <laughs> I mean, like I was at work too, so the uh, whatever. And then um, the final thing that I haven't finished yet, I have two more episodes of. But what's the saving, redeeming thing out of all of it was I finally got to pick back up Watcher, which is incredible. Mm. 
I loved it when it was airing, but I decided to um, hold off on it until it was finished because there were a lot of people talking about it on Twitter and I wanted to silence everything because it's not a show um, where you can, you can just kind of like scroll past things. There's heavy things happen every single week. So there was definitely spoilers to Mm -hmm. keep on seeing. And I was like, no, I just want to kind of like binge it later. And I have been, and it's fantastic. It's so good. I'm so excited to watch the last two episodes. Um, What's his face? Um, The kid. Sue Kong Joon. He's incredible in it. He's so good in it. I mean, like the whole entire cast is great. The the woman who plays the the um the lawyer um who is the sister from Boys Over Flowers, her character is probably one of my favorite characters of all time now. Like definitely like high on my list of female characters. She's just so good. And then like her assistant is like the perfect like. It's a really heavy show. It's not for everybody. It's an OCN drama about like corrupt cops and they all share well, the cops that are the main cast aren't corrupt, but like they all share a really horrific like incident that involves like torture and stuff. Her assistant is just like so funny and like the best way that you can put a comedic character into such a heavy drama. And I just, I, I mean, make it work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There, I mean, there were times I was just, like, freaking out in the clean room, and I'm like, I hope nobody walks in, because I'm just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I was like, I would literally, like, be late for lunch, <laughs> because I was like, I've got, like, 10 minutes left, so I guess I'll go on lunch late because of it. I mean, there was just some points I was just, like, I was gasping, because it's so good. So I definitely, like, suggest if you haven't watched it, you should. And it's an OCN one. That's on Vicky, so it's legally around. So is it is it sky friendly suspense, uh, or is it is it possibly a little bit much for somebody like me? Because uh, I because I watched the first two episodes, but like I yeah, there could be um some, especially towards the end, it starts to kind of like pick up the like storyline, the incident that happens, you start to reveal more, which shows it more, yeah. but it's not like and you could tell it was very psychological, even from the beginning. Yeah, it's not, I would say, like, Possessed was worse in terms of, like, goriness or, like, stuff. And there are definitely, like, points where it's, like, really suspenseful. So there's that. But, like, I mean, it is, like, every little clue kind of comes together and, like, you see it develop through the, like, episode and then it happens. And you're like, oh, my gosh, I wasn't expecting that. And, so, and that's, like, like, your jam. That's, like, that's, your, like you were all about the puzzle. The why I like crime shows that is like the reason I like crime shows it's just mm-hmm. that whole puzzle piecing thing and they're they're just doing it so well with good characters and good acting so so we what about you Nat oh boy okay so oh Jesus so October was like a really weird month for me because I had so much work to do but I was sick the entire month so I didn't get any of my work done and I was too sick to like really enjoy but despite that I still managed to watch some stuff because your girl is this what your girl's all about. You know what I mean? Uh, okay, so just this last weekend, a show I have been waiting for for freaking ever, like a year, finally a year. started. Finally started until we meet again on YouTube. It's so good. It's so good. I know there's only like one episode, so I shouldn't be out here being like, it's so good. but no, but that episode was so so good that I'm just like, is this even a Thai show? Because Thai shows usually aren't this good. You know, <laughs> like, there are good Thai shows. I love, I watch mm-hmm. so many, but like, this show, mwah, mwah, Chef Kiss. Um, it's like really good. It's, I, I tried to explain in a succinct manner, like, <laughs> what the show is about to my mom. Cause I was at my mom's house this past weekend for a wedding and it took me like an hour and I still don't think that she understood like <laughs> what the plot was. I was like, okay, listen. So there's these two guys in the early eighties and they're in love, but their, their dads are like against it. So they kill themselves and then they're reborn <laughs> in the present day. And like, Sort of 
have vaguely have memories of their past life sort of but not really and then they just so happen to be going to the same university and then they like see each other and feel like they're in love but they don't know why because they don't remember their past and mom's just like what the fuck are you talking about <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, ah, and then i anyway but it's really excellent it's for free on youtube Wow, it's delicious. Another free to watch online show. I've been uh, also Thai. Not as good as Until We Meet Again, but way spicier. So if you're into spice, prepare thy gird thy loins, because this show is just spice. Spice. It's a habanero. It's a <laughs> bonnet pepper. Uh, it's called Thern Type. It's possibly the most problematic show I have ever. <laughs> in my entire life every single relationship in this show is not right like it's just they're all bad they're all bad relationships and yet somehow i can't stop watching it like everyone in it is kind of a bad dude except for techno the one there's like one character who's like a good dude but like He's also very stupid, so it doesn't, really <laughs> him, it doesn't really get him very... Being a nice guy does not get him very far no. at all. But, like, like I can't... The show, like, the story is so <laughs> fucked up, but the show is... You just, you're in it, and you can't stop yourself. Can I um, crack? Oh, it's a total crack show. <laughs> the basic plot is, there's this guy, this college student who was molested as a kid. So you already know that this is this is starting out great. And because he was molested as a kid, he like hates all gay people. Like he's incredibly homophobic, except like he doesn't really hate gay people. He just is sort of internalizing what happened, but regardless. So he's kind of a dick. And then he finds out that his roommate, who he previously thought was like the coolest dude ever, is gay. So then he starts like just being a huge dick to this guy who was nothing but nice to him just because he was gay. But then for some reason, this roommate, who is just gorgeous on the eyes, ladies, he's <laughs> decides that he's, like, in love with him. Why? Bad choice. Oh, you know Bad what? That's, choice. The, that's the most confusing part of this whole thing. <laughs> so then, like, decides to, like, make this kid fall in love with him. And that's where it starts to get a little fucking problematic, shall we say. Um... But it's actually, like, really enjoyable to watch, even though you're, like, you're all bad people. You know? Like, anyway. Uh, going along with the theme, as we can tell, I've also been really enjoying the newest edition of History. Um, it's History 3, Make Our Days Count. At first, I thought I was going to have a similar Tharn type thing, where I was like, all these people suck. But by, like, the second, like, halfway through the second episode, you're like, oh, wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> You're all adorable. Just dumb. I like them. You're all cute. One of them has the dumbest haircut I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> like, I just, I can't stop thinking about this haircut. Like, it's, it's ingrained in my brain. And you guys have to understand, in case you don't know, this is coming from someone who is a mullet love, enthusiast. I love mullets, but this hair. Okay. <laughs> we have like is this the one with the weird yeah, line. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when I first saw him, I thought that he had like a scar on his head. Because he had, like, short hair, but then there was just, like, a random line. Like, but not, like, you know, like, they'll have, like, artful ones. Like, no, it was just, like, a random line leading from, like, right above his ear, like, down to the base of his skull. But then he turned, and he had the same line on the other side. So I'm like, oh, this is, like, a choice. And then when he turned to the back, there's a third line, like, just randomly in, like, the middle back of his head. And I'm like... Why? Like it's not like it's not like a design. Like you know, you sometimes no. see those like funky designs or whatever. No, it's just like these weird lines that the ones on the side of his head look like to me like somebody put like a baseball cap on his head and then like took a razor across the bottom and just like put a line where the baseball cap was or something. Yeah, like, like it, it's looks, so it weird. looks like he has like wearing glasses backwards, but like shaved into his head. <laughs> like, it's not a good look. And he's like a cute kid. So it's like, uh, but that one also has some vaguely problematic relationships, mostly between that kid and this older gentleman. I'm not going to say old. He's not like old, but he's like 28 or something. And this yeah. kid's like, this kid's like 17 and you're like, oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know about this, my dude. Oh, uh, but otherwise it's actually really cute. And 
I, what else have I been watching? I know that's not it. I've been watching When the Chameleon Booms. I yeah. like it. I like it so much. I'm only like seven episodes in, but I like it. And then I just started uh, Nokdu, Tale of Nokdu, like literally 20 <laughs> minutes ago. Not 20 minutes ago, like an hour and a half ago, because I watched the first episode and a bit of the second. Really good first episode. Really nice uh, opening scene. So if uh, any of y'all <laughs> go check that out, the opening scene is uh, pretty nice. I don't even remember <laughs> now that you put it that way. <laughs> pretty, 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 pretty. Anyways, really great. Um, and while, uh, what's her name? Kim So Young, is that her name? The main girl? I think so. Uh, she dresses up like a man, but is very unconvincing. Um, <laughs> the main dude dresses up as a woman and. Yeah, he passes. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He makes it a hot lady. Mm. Uh, yep. Mm-hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, what about you, guy? Uh, I haven't been watching that much the past month, really. I- I've kept up with Extraordinary You. I'm trying to make it to where I don't watch each day that it releases. <laughs> I'm just happy <laughs> keeping that. So, uh, yeah, really, really enjoying that one. I like even just the structure of the story and stuff, the way they're choosing to not reveal a lot, really. I think it's pretty neat. So I, I like that type of thing, though. I also, even in English movies or whatever, I enjoy stories about self-aware, fictitious characters, because I think that's usually a very interesting topic. So I, I usually enjoy those types of things. But mm-hmm. yeah, I think it's, and they've done a lot of, they surprise me all the time in Extraordinary You. Like, I really, which I, I like. Um, aside from that, I have a couple of web dramas to talk about. Uh, Soul Plate is Astro's little web drama currently. And they play angels, which is funny. Angels who cook and run a little restaurant, which is, like, in between realities. Ooh, that sounds fun. And it's essentially a 10-minute food commercial each week. <laughs> um, it doesn't really make a ton of sense. But the whole premise of this restaurant... So now that we're, I think, three or four episodes... Three episodes in? Um, a normal person will get invited to the restaurant, but you can usually tell there's a reason they're coming there. And then mm. they'll make them a... They don't really have a choice, even though they're given a, men- a menu, which is just silly. Uh and they'll make them something and they'll eat it and then it'll remind them of something in their past that will maybe, it's kind of a touching thing. So even though it's kind of the silly premise and all of them have very, you don't, you don't even see all of the Astro kids all that much, but when they're together, they're being really ridiculous. And like Sanha, he's a drama addicted angel. So anytime he really talks, he's like, is this like a drama? Like he'll say that. And- <laughs> And then Rocky, he's a music addicted angel, so he always has headphones on. So he'll be like moving ingredients to and fro, but people will be talking to him and then he'll take his headphones off and he'll only like know half of what's going on. So he's confused. It's pretty funny. My most recent favorite line though. So Inwoo's character, he's a jerk. He's kind of like a jerk angel, essentially, (laughs) because he's good at pulling off those characters. And the main girl is, is like, he's such a jerk. And then Rocky pulls down his headphones. And he's like, yep. And then he just leaves. He smiles and leaves like, yep, you're right. Like, but there's always also a recipe that they don't nece- necessarily share within the episode. They release separately and they, one of the guys will show you how to make it and stuff. So it's pretty cute. Um, I think I want to say it'll be eight episodes, 10 minutes a piece. Pretty simple. Some Astro music in it. That's just cute. So, then, Love Formula 11M. I don't even know what any of that really means. That's Sanha's new web drama, where it's been a big deal. There was even a big press conference. I mean, this is a bit... And he was cast as a college soccer player type guy. So we all got really excited for this thing. Go to watch it on Naver, which, I mean, it wasn't even subbed. But it was less than three minutes long episode... (laughs) You got got! You got got. (laughs) And even within those, like, two minutes and 45 seconds, there wasn't a lot of talking because it was pretty much he was on the soccer field and then, like, the ball went too far and it was, like, the main girl character, you can tell, got the ball and then he pretty much asked her to kick the ball and then she kicked it really well into the goal. Like, this was the extent of the show so far. (laughs) They got you. They got you good. 
<laughs> they did it to you, Sky. Well, and, and we know, I think it's supposed to be eight episodes, too, but we're all kind of like, <laughs> there. there's going to be other characters, too. No, we no, know that's that like less than 20 minutes long. Yeah, it's a 15-minute short film is what you're right. describing. Well, so, <laughs> and I mean, they did a good job with it. <laughs> they were given, but like, okay, so they released that, and I think the same day, and even even within this tiny web drama episode, they had the OST song, which Sanha and the main chick, I think, were singing. And then they released a music video for this. That's where OST. they put all the money. <laughs> and it's over three minutes long. <laughs> oh, no. Like, they should have just done, like, a Wild Wild West style music video. Do you remember the Wild Wild West music video? Mm-hmm. That was like, that was like a 15 minute long movie. Yeah. They could have just done that. Just, right. you know, so, make life easier so, on yourself. So, we'll see how long, and that's, and it's not, if they had even released all the episodes at once and if they were tiny, fine. Mm. Mm. But, but you, you have to what? wait a week for the next one. And so, we're like, <laughs> next two we, minutes. And so we're trying to, you know, like, we're all, like, super supportive. He did a good job. But, like, we don't <laughs> have... I mean, he did great on the OST song and the music video. But it's like, guys, like, you got to give us material to support. Like, that's really hard. <laughs> he did a good job, I guess. Like, he played soccer. Cute. <laughs> so it was pretty funny because we were, we were all laughing about it on Twitter. But it's like, well, we don't know what's going on, but that's fine. Like. <laughs> Yay! You just got got. You as the Aurora fandom as a whole. Well, got 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 I got. We watched the long press conference. Like, I mean, this is a big deal. And then, like, the first episode, <laughs> it's tiny. It's just really, really funny. Uh, I mean, I've never heard of. Every, everyone was pretty much like, yeah, web, you know, they're usually at least five minutes. Like, we were just <laughs> yeah. not know what to do about it. Oh, that's hilarious. So. Oh boy. Yeah, I've been I've been mostly K popping, but those you know you've been, you've been heavy jappin' with that one. You've been jappin'. Yeah. <laughs> been jappin'. I, I've been tempted to just rewatch Extraordinary You, but like I know, I keep on tempting myself on that. I'm, I'm like, like, no, Jesse, no. It, okay. Wait for it to be over and then we can like watch it together with me as the I, first time. I will and, most likely love the ending just fine. And, and then I'll binge it. I'll binge it with y'all. <laughs> and then maybe I'll read the manhwa or whatever it's called. The web the web yeah. that it's based on. I'm waiting to read it until the show is done. Because hmm. I, I have no idea what's going to happen. And I like it. So mm. Now we move on. We're going to play a little game. A little game by the name of 20 Questions. Well, questions anyway. I don't know if we're going to keep count. Yeah. So. Some questions. Some. Some question number number. Of questions. You can play along at home. So basically, we're going to have a K-drama, K-pop themed something. And one person will think of it. And the rest of us will have to ask yes or no questions to determine if we can figure out who it is. Basically, we're going to play Akinator right now. Like, do you remember Akinator? I don't know what that is. Oh, God. It was like this just this <laughs> website where, like, it would guess what you were thinking of by asking yes or no questions. Sounds familiar, but the name doesn't sound familiar. Yeah, I, I don't... It was like a little genie. Anyway. Probably I, think, kind of... I think I've seen it. I just don't remember that name. Yeah. Gosh, gosh, gosh. It's Maybe it's a, okay. that was the Canadian version, and we yeah. had a different version. It was online! <laughs> Canadian version, fine. <laughs> CA, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it, does ahead. anyone have anything yet? No. Ready? <laughs> um, I've got something if we want. Okay. All right. Jesse has something in mind. Mm-hmm. Is it a person? No. Is it a PPL? Yes. Oh. Huh. Is it something you eat? Yes. Have I made a joke shirt about it? Yes. <laughs> Is it Subway? <laughs> a little bit more specific, please. Oh. Ooh. Subway sandwich? That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> I get one point. Yeah. <laughs> that was easy. Oh, yeah. Okay. You, you, that was, for those at home, that was like a, a little a little one. It's a little Getting one. Getting into okay. it. 
Okay, yeah. I got I got one. I got one. Okay. All right. Okay. Is it a person? Yes. Male? Yes. Idol? No. Thai? No. Korean? Yes. So G sub? No. <laughs> <laughs> See, you thought you were getting me. You thought you were getting me. No, no, no. It's also not Sung Hoon. Move on. Move on. <laughs> Ask yes or no questions. <laughs> You're supposed to be helping the people at home play along. <laughs> Is he currently in a show that's, like, currently airing? Is um, he below enlistment age? No. That was a good question. Is he in a show that's on Netflix right now? No. Yeah. That's a good one. At least I don't... No, yeah. I'm, like, thinking... Okay, like, no, let no, me no. be specific. Is he okay. in a drama right yes. now? Yes! Okay. Is he in um, a historic drama? Not right now. He has in the past, but then again, who hasn't? That's not even helpful. Yeah. But at the moment, no, he is not in a historic what drama. shows are airing? <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, can you... Okay, go ahead. No, no, because I just realized she already answered that question. For me. <laughs> I was going to say, is, it, um, it, uh, is he on a show that's being legally subbed? Yes. <laughs> okay. That's a good question. <laughs> just narrow down some people. Narrow it down. Just zoom. Yes, yes, uh-huh. he is. You can watch this legally. Okay. I thought you'd have gotten this by now. Oh, uh, <laughs> Does he have dimples? Um, I'm not. Maybe. I don't. Well, I'll just double check. <laughs> That's another question. <laughs> um, is he currently in a drama that's his first drama out of it, um, being in the military. No. Okay. Wow. <laughs> She's I, a, Natalia's I don't, think, looking for I don't think he has dimples. Like, he doesn't have, like, real <laughs> noticeable ones if he does. Okay. Have you drawn him? <laughs> yes, but... Yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> You're about to tell us some more information. I was about to tell you more information. <laughs> yes, I have drawn him before, and... I'll give you a little hint. It looked like who he was supposed to look like. So <laughs> not who you're thinking. <laughs> not who you're thinking. <laughs> Is he on a shirt in your shop? No. Hmm. Not yet. Dang it, I was going to look it up. Is he known for what? His eyebrows. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not. Think of who she, she's drawn that. It's currently in a show. No, drama. Just, okay. But above enlistment age. Like, that too. <laughs> <laughs> I okay, wish I was like, watching more dramas that were airing. You're going to go, oh. like, you're going to my drama list. Please tell us what is currently airing in my drama list. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I totally lied. This is his comeback drama. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was mistaken. <laughs> I forgot, but he is above enlistment age, and this is the first drama he made since he went. I'm Listen, sorry, I gave you shitty information this drama. He might have been. He might have oh, been. Oh, oh, I have a guess. I have a guess. I have a guess. <laughs> I'm so He's so sorry. hard right now. I'm so sorry, I forgot. Kang yeah. Ha No. No, it's a book. Yay! Ji Chang I would have gotten it, like... I lost it to go. Yeah, so I know. To be there two days. I, I forgo- okay, I legitimately forgot that he had just gotten out of the military. I thought it was like a couple years ago. Like I swear to God, that was sorry. That was my own stupidity. Everyone at home, I'm just a diddly dumbass. <laughs> my bad. Okay. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I got one. Mm. Is it a person? No. Is it a PPL? No. Is it a drama? No. Is it a movie? No. Is it an animal? No. Is it a K-pop group? No. Is it a song? No. What the fuck is left? Is it a place? <laughs> is, it a, is it is it edible? No. no. Do you want me to help you with like the? I can. Like help. we literally have gone through like trope. Trope. You the trope. 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 Okay. 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 Do we like this trope? Most people do not. Most people. Oh. Trope. Amnesia. No. Okay. 
does someone usually die in when this no. trope is in it? No. Noble idiocy. No, but that's a good guess. Love triangles. No. Forced separation. No. That thing where someone leaves for a year and doesn't ever text or email or call, <laughs> even though all of these technologies completely exist in the modern world? No. <laughs> hmm. Goes to America. No. Think. It, it... Truck of Doom. No. But like kind of more, you know, simple tropey things. It's not like whole premise. Oh, r- wrist grabs. Wrist grabs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those suck. Stop doing it. <laughs> to me, it depends. A lot of t- it depends on the context of stuff, and sometimes mm. it doesn't rush me. Like for instance, a lot of it happened a fair bit in my ideas, Gangnam Beauty, but the way it happened, it wasn't that frustrating. Mm. I didn't think it was that bad. Okay. There's a fair bit in Extraordinary You because of the way the characters are built, it makes sense, so it doesn't bother me. But for some people, it is bothersome. So, for scraps. Okay, I got I got another one. I got one. This Does is Amanda one. have one, though? Do you have one, Amanda? Yes, I do. Okay, Amanda so first. Amanda. I think mine's a good one to end on. <laughs> Trust me on this one. All right, Amanda. Okay. Is it a person? Yes. Is it Ty? No. Is it an idol? No. Is it a fictional person? No. Is it a male? No. So is it a female? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't know if you were going to try to be sneaky. <laughs> yeah. You go into singer. We just said idol. So true. There this could is have been... true. Is this an actress? Yes. Is she currently in a drama? No. I don't think so. No. Have we all watched her in a drama? Yes. In a drama that we all watched her in, could she have been the uh, replaced by a lampshade and her character would have made absolutely no difference in the long run? No, absolutely 100% not. Okay, definitely good, good. not. <laughs> Is she in her 30s? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. So she's not in a currently airing drama. And she's in her 30s. 30s. Is she is she in any kind of more current movies? No, not that I know of. Nothing. Hmm. Is she usually a lead? Yeah. Was she in Busted? Yeah. <laughs> Was she in her private life? Yeah. <laughs> Was she? In What's wrong with Secretary Kim? <laughs> Also, yes! <laughs> there's, 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 does she have to be the queen of romantic comedies? Yes! <laughs> I, you know? Gosh. Maybe. You I might, think I might know who it is. Did, did, did my mother recently uh, tell me that I was just as pretty as she was, eliciting me to laugh hysterically for like 20 minutes? <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I think we know who it is. Park Min Young. <laughs> Park Min Young. Park Min Young. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I got I got a good one. Okay. Is it a person? No. Is it a group? You, you made you made hands like it was kind of a person. It, it is, is a group. group. It is a group. It is a group. It's a unit of people. Have we seen this group in concert? <laughs> no. Is it a musical group? Yes. Is it a boy group? You could say that. Could say. C- could you say it's a girl group? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are they going on tour soon? No. Not that I know of. Not that they've announced. Oh, were they on Busted? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not really. No. No. No ish. I-, I can see where you were going with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That. Um. Oh, you said no ish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's- oh, do they say happen- no? They were gonna do- say no because it'll make sense. No, but no. But- let, let me ask this question: Does mm-hmm. this group happen to have evil clones involved with them? Vaguely. <laughs> vaguely. <laughs> How vaguely? Is it because nobody actually knows? Maybe. <laughs> do but they- you put you're asking the wrong question here. <sighs> Are they Natalia's favorite group? No, maybe she's no. talking about the other half 
Maybe she's talking about the evil ones. I, and she's giving yeah, me. So? But I don't know if she likes uh, one or the <laughs> other to them. Or she can like <laughs> the clones or not. But who knows? <laughs> so, my, do they have strange accent marks over oh, their they names? Might. And the they, they might. They, they might. They are they, um, go, go are they not actually clones, but cyborgs? They might be. We don't like, actually know, okay? We don't know. How, we how don't do you. Know. I don't even know how to pronounce it differently than the other one. It's just like a scream. It's just like just one high pitched scream. I can tell you can't even hear it. Or just like feedback, like white noise. Yeah. I got... and then that is in heavy metal music. And it's like yeah. <laughs> Okay, yes. it's the EXO clones. That was my. <laughs> For the listeners at home who don't know what's going on. <laughs> None of us do. It's fine. No, no, no. no, no. Let me explain good. though. Uh, EXO, their current concept for their comeback involves other versions of themselves that have accent marks over their names and look rather cyborgy. Yeah. They look cyborgy. Hot. Okay. They're I'm not different. very good clones because they they're not cloned. Hot. They look creepy hot, is what I'm saying. Like <laughs> they, they're like they're just as hot as original EXO, but like, like horror concept. Like somehow yeah. you're like, yeah, yeah, right, horror okay. contacts. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. But I'm, but I'm okay. There, there's contacts. There's scars. There's lots of stuff going on. Mm. I'm sorry. They look better than like the, like the 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 clone EXO. Like the styling of them is better than regular EXO. This comeback. I'm saying. I think it was supposed to be, and I think they were supposed to be winning, and they're not. Yeah, but you I don't, don't get all that. Now. I'm like, how would you vote for this basic ass EXO when you got like <laughs> fucking cyberpunk <laughs> EXO just out here doing their best to like bring back like uh, electric, <laughs> like electric kiss here? Come on, y'all, basic Korea. <laughs> like, Korean EXOs are just like just not getting with the program. Like this is the concept. Let's support it. Yay. Hey, no, they're like, no, we want the boring EXO. No. <laughs> no. No. You want you want scary fucked up EXO, okay? Just give this to us. Give this to us. <laughs> let us have this. Please. Yeah. Please. Like, let me tell you, these clones didn't work their ass off to get out of the X the Red Force or whatever the hell the storyline is these days <laughs> to like not have y'all be voting for them. Look, clearly someone's been fucking them up. Have you seen how they look? They look terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like they had the worst weekend ever. Just give it to them. Yeesh. Anyway, on that fun note. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, now we're going to talk about the show Busted. Okay, so Busted is now a two-season variety show that is made by Netflix, um, which was their first foray into the Korean variety market, mm-hmm. uh, which has UJ Suk in it, so it was bound to be popular. Yeah. No mm. matter what. In the first season, Kwang Su. Yeah. So. yeah. Yeah. And the first episode of the second season, yeah. Kwang Su, playing a pivotal role in the mystery. <laughs> it's a, it's actually a rather interesting uh, concept for a variety show mm-hmm. because it's not just like random shenanigans, like or like a Running Man, but there's actually like it's. The way I sort of described it is it's kind of like if a murder mystery dinner party and an escape room had a baby (laughs) and then filled it with Korean celebrities. Yep. And that's basically what's happening. So they have to, like, solve mysteries and figure out puzzles and various situations, uh, running into lots of hilarious guest stars that are just, uh, I'm sorry, the part. Park so the Ray good. in the first season. Oh my like, gosh, it's so the, good. As the dancing instructor was possibly the greatest oh. cameo I've ever seen in Especially my life. Especially when Jaysuk comes into the room and then he's just like, he's like oh no! my gosh. <laughs> no! No, it's not you! Reyna! <laughs> Reyna, the pole dancing instructor. And they're all like trying to like hide it. Like, yeah, and they're like, like no. We're no, out laughing. No, we're not doing this. And then she's like, you have to pole dance to get my secrets. And they're like, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, it's really good. 
I, I'm actually surprised. So we just, the second season just dropped. Uh, we're filming this on a Wednesday. Uh, it would have dropped the Friday before we filmed this. So two Fridays ago, if you're listening to this when it first comes out. Um, and it's great. Like, yeah. the second season is going really well. Like, it started out with, like, a the most elaborate escape room situation I've ever seen yeah. in my life. I really oh, liked it because it was a really good tie-in to the, the first, first season without ever having to see the first season because yeah. all of the escape rooms were specifically, like, just geared towards what they did during yeah. the first season and, and also how they kind of, like what they're bad at too. Yeah. What they're bad at. And what was like kind of their like running joke or running thing that they were doing during the first season. Like young men having to do math problems. (laughs) Yeah. Biggest idiot on the planet. Poor guy. I I felt, I felt that pain. That would be when he's getting closer and closer to the bugs. And (laughs) (laughs) And then of course they're like, Oh, who is Min Young? We're just going to throw her in this room because she's the best one. She'd get out of all of them. (laughs) Yeah, so she can't do anything. She can't help anyone except by just yelling at them. And then they put uh, what's his face from Five Children in with all the snakes because he was such a pussy about the snakes in the first season. And then and all he did was go to the corner and just sit yeah. there. He's yeah, he'd like, be like, I'm just not gonna do it. Oh. He's like, I guess I'm stuck you. I guess I'm stuck here now. The girl comes in and she's just like, oh, she's just like picking up all the snakes. She's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about this snake. Like, she's so cute. I love her. I love yeah, her. Yeah, she's really good in this. Like, really good. Yeah, so, she's adorable. I love all of her jokes in the second season where they were all like, oh, what have you been up to for a year? She's like, nothing much! <laughs> like, this is my only job, so <laughs> thank you for making a second season! <laughs> I do want to say my personal opinion. The first season, mm. the plot is a bit more disjointed, or not yeah. as connected. Mm -hmm. Let me put it that way. And there are times in the second season it still feels a little bit disjointed, but usually by the end of the episode there is enough of a tie-in. So, like, the theme of an episode might be like, oh, this kind of feels like it's a one-off, which it kind of is a one-off. They've had a couple of episodes like that. But there's always enough tie-in that it feels more fluid than the first Mm -hmm. season. Not that the first season was bad, but the first season, was it was very episodic, like, extremely. You could probably watch it backwards and it really yeah it wouldn't be that it'd be bad. mostly yeah. okay whereas second season is very you gotta start from the beginning and it doesn't make a big difference like the first few episodes but definitely it builds as you go on like i'm surprised at how many people are back from the first yes i was just about this one. to say that like it's it... shocking mm-hmm. especially some of the characters you're like oh you came back for this and you literally only have like two lines in the first season yeah, just when they but they were able back, to get like, them back the smart detectives for that what like wow it was so good like i mean they're like this is kind of farther in past the episode but like they even brought back a character who was like killed off in the first season yeah. essentially and like brought him back as a new character and everybody's like but wait a minute you and they're like no that's my brother what are you talking about yeah. <laughs> and then they'll, like, they'll just bring back these references like to like oh yeah the guy that was in that photo like this photo that's oh that guy's dad see the dad in the photo and then they're like yep I'm a real actor it wasn't just a stock photo <laughs> here to be in this episode I mean they definitely like don't feel like you have to watch the first season to be mm-hmm. able to follow the second season because they definitely yeah. make it clear on why these people are connected so you you don't have to have that knowledge it's just like a really great little easter egg once you like start to realize it you're like oh this person's back for this that's cool because the the show is so big on guest stars and like really like top name guest stars like just show up at random because you don't like you don't notice them for a while or they'll like blur, blur it out and then you finally get to them and you're like oh my gosh, it's you? That's that, that's insane. And so, like, that's part of the fun of this show. Yeah. First episode of the second season, and Kim Min Jae is there, and you're like, Min Jae, yeah. like, yeah. You think Kim Won, he's just, there, too. So, like, <laughs> like just, as, just, just chilling. Even playing his part, doing his thing, and you're like... Yeah, and playing it off straight, too. Yeah. That's what I love about yeah. it, is that they're all just like, yeah, this is my character. This is a serious role that so, I'm going to, to play. To me, that's another difference between 
um, second season, first season, and actually I watched yeah. a V Live promotional thing they did right as they were dropping the second season to Netflix, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and Park Min Young kept saying first season they were kind of getting to know the rules as far as yeah they they yeah. were character a little bit much and stuff but she was like the second season we know the rules more so it feels more like a drama and it really does like yeah. they 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 try to play it straight like 98.5% of the mm-hmm. time like which i think helps get into it more i found the first season first episode to me was too long like it's an hour and a half long and Mm -hmm. they spent too much time on each of the things to me I was like this is really boring like I'm really not enjoying this at all until they got to the more like escape room part at the second half Mm -hmm. of that episode and then it felt like the first episode of the second season just like right away like it took off they didn't spend a lot of time with the setup and everything and they integrated everything more and it just it just felt like it hit the hit the ground running and the it was yeah that that me. length like I was like yeah I want to keep watching this that length keeps up for the first season they're very long mm-hmm. episodes um but also a uh, difference is that when the first season aired it was done weekly so mm-hmm. you were only getting the uh, the two episodes a week mm-hmm. So they didn't release it all at once. So that kind of helped because I was watching it as it was airing. And Mm -hmm. so it kind of helped those hour and a half long. What I did like about the first season, not that like I liked the second season and I liked how they tightened it up. There are some parts in the first season where you can tell that like some of the other members of the team aren't variety people. Yeah. And so they would kind of like get sidetracked or kind of like not know how to comedically get the story back and Kwang Soo and, and um, Jae Suk during that entire time would like help them out yeah. and those moments were really fun to watch especially with like Sehun where <laughs> like he's just like poor awkward bean and what they're like and they're trying to bean. help him and try and like actively trying to help him in like figuring out how to like improv the situation to like make it a variety show. And they're like so seasoned and just like so perfect at it. And you're like just seeing them and he's just like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Why am I here? Him and Busted is what made him my exo bias. Just because I don't know, like I feel sorry for him or something. And then in second season, it's like, yes, yes, you're hilarious. It was the correct choice. <laughs> I think they're all like that. They're like, oh, okay, you can just stay here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pat your head. Season one, and this isn't a spoiler by any means, but so the snake thing in episode one, season two, there there were snakes in one of the episodes in season one. And uh, it was a surprise in a box thing. <laughs> and pretty much the girls were the ones to take care oh, of it. Yeah. Like, You're immediately the like, okay. All of the straight up men were screaming like babies, like, just, like running walking away. away, like no, no. And the girls <laughs> like, oh, let's just move these snakes. <laughs> not a big deal. <laughs> let's just like, dig through these squid in the mud. Not a big deal. And the guys are like, no, what the fuck is this? Like, no, 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 no. That's what really made me love it. He tried a little bit to like not be outdone too much. Like he tried. It was pretty funny. Oh, say, honey, he's just so, he's just, so, and you can, like, see his personality so much in this show, too, like, just sort of awkward being better. But he's very sweet in it, too, yeah. and he's just like, I'm just glad to be here, guy. <laughs> <laughs> there was also the scene in season one where they're, like, in the, in the prison, like, the fake prison, and he has to, like, convince the other prisoner that, like, He's really a prisoner, and he's like, yes, I'm in here for swindling people with my good looks. And the guy's like, you swindled women? And he goes, I didn't say women. And you're like, oh, say and you little mint. <laughs> also, I really enjoy the, uh, I actually went back and rewatched part of the uh, episode that had surprise in it with all the mm-hmm. kids from that idol group. Because I wanted to see Park Min Young interact with Seo Kang Joon, since they're going to be in the show yeah. together. And so I wanted to see if they had, I knew they weren't going to have like 
chemistry because I didn't remember that necessarily. Yeah, well, they really. Like, Sam was the only one, like, really the one to, like, interact with him, right? Because he's the one who grabbed yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, there was a time where she goes and questions him and he's playing piano and his character is really moody. And so at one point, he's just pretty much like, stop bothering me, practicing piano, stop, stop. <laughs> like, that was the extent exactly. of their interaction. So. I really, no, she's so good in this. She, like, literally busted is what made me fall in love with her mm -hmm. because she's so good and she's so funny and she's just like she can figure out anything and like yeah you would think there are like times when someone comes on you're like oh they're gonna try to like sway her she's literally like no it's down to business tell me what I need to know like right now and I'll like put it down on my notes and then I'll figure it out yeah. or, like and she's the only one who knows English in the group <laughs> and so she's like yeah. constantly always having to like figure out the English because there's a ton of English clues yeah. in the first mm -hmm. season and she's just like constantly figuring them out and then um the the other girl she's also like really good at stuff too and so like when the two of them together you can tell like Sam's like I'm just gonna stay with them because <laughs> <laughs> they know what they're doing <laughs> they're so good together what I love about Parkman Young is and of course some of this is definitely on script and stuff but you can tell her personality in real life is not a know-it-all type person. Like, even though she is brilliant and she's obviously great at this, she never even makes a funny dig at anybody for, like, not understanding something that she understands. Yeah. She's always very gracious and, like, she just rolls with it. Like, it's totally fine. She doesn't ever get onto somebody for being slow. And I think, I think that's great. Like, she has a really good tone with everything she does. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, she's... She's who I want to be when I grow up type person. Yeah. We're so smart. Despite, despite the yeah. fact that we're all like in our 30s and above. Yeah, I want to be like her when I, be like I her. finally we're become gonna, an adult. Like, <laughs> she has a um, vlog that she did. Uh, like It was only like a couple of episodes that she actually like put it out. But her personality on that vlog is really close to Busted. Which makes me assume that like they really were given bare minimum like I, I believe and especially what it looks like when you especially in the first season when you see it it looks like they're literally given just like yeah a few basic plots and then all the guest characters have lines mm -hmm. and then they're just supposed to improv the entire thing and figure it out themselves and like you see it because like they definitely like someone will say something and it's so so incredibly stupid and like the literally like you can see like everybody break character and be like what are you doing why did you say that and they had to like cut it or like you'll see the actor the guest star who's there like like half turn away from the camera because they're laughing so hard <laughs> or they'll like do Kim, something Kim random like, he had to do that a lot in season two. Like, because yeah. he, he keeps on showing back up. Mm. And uh, it'll do something <laughs> hilarious. And he, all of a sudden, you'll just see his back. Like, but that's what's right. really funny about the second season. You can tell that they're like, okay, we're back at this. I remember this. And they, like, have their rhythm again mm. as being, like, a complete group. And they, like, feed off of each other really nicely. And they, like, obviously, like, they're much more comfortable around each other. Yeah. because they've had that first season and so that was kind of fun you're just like watching and you're like oh the family's back well and I, I even like watching uh the guest characters they you can tell when they're improving and even when they're not breaking character completely but they'll say something they'll say something really funny like uh pretty much how did my dad come up with this puzzle like are you kidding me? This puzzle's way too hard. Like, my dad wasn't that smart. Like, yeah. things like that. You knew weren't, that's not what a Chaywall son would say. Yeah. They're, just, they're mostly yeah. saying, like, this puzzle is, like, stupid hard. Like, how are we going to solve it? <laughs> things like that are like, I'm a really good golfer. And then, like, no, he's not. You could tell that was just yeah. one of his lines or kind yeah. of his premise. It's just so enjoyable to watch. Like, I and don't. Something I will say. There are some plot lines or episodes in season two that I find, like, I was fine, but people who do maybe get spooked, some scarier stuff. Not bad, but, like, it's a thing. There was definitely one episode that was more on the horror side of things mm -hmm. than others. Mm -hmm. I um, definitely thought the season two starter, like, it just felt wise. darker. Like, it yeah. felt, yeah. just in general, like, it felt... More like you're watching a murder mystery and less like you're watching 
a Korean variety show. Like yeah. it, it has yeah. less of that like, hey, did it, did it, did it feel to it? And it's more like, I mean, bam, mm-hmm. it starts in like, whoa, we yeah. just saw somebody blow up. Like, oh, okay, great. Like, wow, that's where we're going this season. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, and they're definitely, so in season two, there are some episodes that are lighter. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, like, oh, here's a dark one. Noted. Like, so <laughs> some people might not love the dark, dark, but it really, it wasn't bad. But, like, they were kind of going pretty spooky with stuff. So, mm-hmm. you know, when you start talking shamans and stuff, I mean, yeah, that's not necessarily everyone's jam. Yeah. I got, I'm to, I'm to episode nine. So, I mean, I've, I've seen a pretty big chunk of it. And it's, it's been good how. There's more connectivity than there was in the first season. I really enjoyed it. Never really got into the first season at all. Like, I think I tried and I sort of went, eh, this isn't for me right now and never did. But, like, the, I watched it and I was like, yeah, okay, maybe I'll come back and watch it. And then I watched the first episode of the second season and started into the next episode because it was just going and I was like, yeah. Yeah, I was enjoying it. So I can, I kind of think maybe I'll go back and check out the first season just to have some of those references and stuff but I feel like I like I didn't even miss the fact that I didn't see the first season yet like no you really don't need the first show season the flashbacks that you need to know yeah. in order to know why these things are ref, like important you know I do think if if I were to recommend somebody I do think maybe watching the first episode of the first season just because it explains, like, why are these people detectives? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, and them kind of laughing about that. And even though it is more like, haha, variety show silliness, at <laughs> least it kind of explains, like, who's this K person? Like, I mean, the mechanics of kind of all of that. Yeah. And, why, and I guess the, why the last and how they started. episode of that season was the, the tie back, like, officially, that where, like, most of the episode was, like, about Kay and about all that stuff. And pretty much everything in between was just yes. the same thing. Just the still things. Yeah, Which, you, don't, you don't need it for the second season. Although I do say that they do have, like, a beat before they reveal the, like, flashback of who this person is. Mm-hmm. So, like, there's a moment where you're, like, oh my gosh, it's that person, and then they'll, like, explain it to you. So that, like, yeah. it gives, like, people who watch the first season that little, like, kind of Easter egg yeah. fun, like, feeling, uh-huh. and then it still, like, caters. It'll explain for the newbies who yeah. what's going on. Yeah. Or you don't, you don't remember that actor, because it has been, like, over a year since the last one was aired, you know. And if, if you like solving puzzles, they do give you time to solve the puzzles along with the people. I yeah. mean, have I ever successfully solved any of these puzzles? No. Well, I call a few, like, every once in a while I would, but most of the time I'm like... I'll just let Min Young do it. She's cool. Yeah. <laughs> She's think, smarter than all of us, so... I think in episode one, season one, like, my my dad, I haven't introduced him to a ton of Asian-y things, mm-hmm. but he likes puzzles. And so I remembered in season one, the first episode of season one, the puzzles, once they kind of got to the escape room parts, a couple of them were not super simple, but they weren't excessively hard. Like, yeah. I knew that he would enjoy seeing that. So I actually showed him those puzzles a few months back. And he got way into it because there was a word puzzle, English, and it was it was pretty neat. And the walls were yeah. closing in. And you could tell he was, like, way into the escape room part. Because I knew yeah. I took out all the storyline because that was just going to be confusing. He, he was way into it. So... Those were, I, I kind of remember playing along with those a bit more. Everything else, I'm always just like, well, I'll try, but numbers or whatever, like, that's not going to be a thing. So I don't think this is a spoiler. I'm just going to say it. As far as when Lee Sung Yi pops in. <laughs> we're bringing it back around. Yeah, we're bringing we got to time it. Time it. <laughs> so if you've paid attention to any of the promotional materials, which, because it is done by Netflix, they have a lot of, it's all, yeah. there's a lot of English mm-hmm. subtitled. Mm-hmm. it's all accessible there's a lot of cute behind the scenes stuff go watch it it's neat um since Lee Sung Gi is always involved in all this promotional stuff posters everything you really assume that he would like pop up in the first episode or two you, that's where you're wrong champ no <laughs> you're wrong see he didn't come up in the first episode I'm like okay and then and then in I think it was the second episode they were like Okay, now we have to look for a new detective. And I'm like, oh, okay, so this is where he's at. And then it wasn't him. I was like, okay, never mind. Like, (laughs) okay, yeah, you got to get five episodes in before uh, (laughs) you see our boy. (laughs) Well, that was when you you first, uh, to 
today when you first mentioned Lee Sung Gi at the beginning, and I was like, crap, did I not watch all of the first episode? <laughs> no, like, no, you did. I didn't no. see him. I didn't see him at all. But, okay, good. Good, yeah, good. I, I did watch I, all of it. it yeah, yeah. In the first yeah. episode, I even thought maybe they'll like have him in the background. Yeah, like it'll be like, like later. a little Easter yeah. egg. I like... thought he was going to be in those videos or like something. 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 No. Nope. 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 He is not spoken of until episode five. So. But he's okay. a delight once he shows up. As always. Well, there's some there's some guest star delights prior to then too. I mean. Oh yes. Yeah. Stuff that goes down. Uh, yeah, this is a show. If you like are really into Korean entertainment, that like just watching for the guest stars are like, oh yeah, it's just so good. Like the first season definitely was more variety guest stars. Like I mean, it had other guest stars, yeah. but like definitely the like the big like points were variety shows, and I think they were just kind of playing off of like Jaesuk and like Kwang Soo and stuff because they yeah. all know each other. But like this one has, I like, mean, actors. Act- singer idols yeah you're gonna see like everybody you know like anybody (laughs) and it's fun yeah it's fun that's all you need to know is that it's fun and if like you haven't i feel like it's like a really good introduction to people who like haven't tried variety before because i feel like a lot of variety might be daunting because most of them have been running for so long that there's so many episodes but this only has you know two seasons and they're not like long seasons they're like 10 10 or 12 episodes some of them Something, something around there. Something yeah. like there. So it's like easily accessible to people. And it's on Netflix, which makes it even easier for people to find. So it's a good introduction to the And everything's oh. subtitled, like you know how yeah. like normal variety shows have a lot of like captions and like things mm-hmm. going on. They specifically subtitle all of that. Yeah. So you still My, get that variety kind of like set up, but like it's not like most subtitled yeah. places will never well, subtitle those. And so, so even all the graphics, like for a clue, it's actually in English. It's not yeah. like there's Korean and English, mm-hmm. like it's straight yeah. up English. And, and stuff, actually so. my husband was mentioning that yesterday. He's like, Oh, like, is that like how it's broadcast originally? I'm like, well, honey, it's just made by Netflix. So they'll just do different versions for whatever country they're in. Like that's no yeah. skin off of their bones. Like in Korea, you're going to see the Korean ones. And yeah. in France, you'll see well, the French ones. And so they were reading some comments when they were releasing it and stuff on the VLive. And someone asked, like, why did it take so long to release a second season? And they said, actually, it's all the language work because it's yeah. released in 190 countries. Yeah. That's a big deal. And they were really proud that, like, simultaneously they were going to drop all of this in all these countries like you could tell and that's actually like really cool to think about too like Mm -hmm. and even even just watching that promotional thing like a lot of people showed up and they were just like wow we got like two million likes or whatever you know like they were just impressed that they were that popular you could tell the is his name jong min you know like the really funny yeah. You could tell he was like he wasn't even totally getting it. He was just like, whoa, like he was just mind. <laughs> like, does he ever really totally get anything though? No. Is there real <laughs> I love him. him. I, I always him. like he he goes He's such a delightful dummy. Korean is hard. I'm like, <laughs> you're right, buddy. You're right. <laughs> you're right, my dude. You're right. Because like, it'll it'll always be a pronunciation thing, and they'll make fun of him. And I'm like, it's okay. Like I understand. <laughs> Sounded similar to me, too. We we get it, my dude. We get it. Listen, English is not some simple pronunciation (laughs) fest over here, either. So, yeah. So, is there anything else that we wanted to talk about for that? I just really liked that, uh, I liked that the first episode of the second season was all, like, Greek mythology and stuff, because that's my jam. So, I really enjoyed that. I... I thought I was disappointed because I didn't think they did enough with the fact that Park Min Young was Cassandra. Like they told everybody, don't trust Cassandra, but like they should have like disguised her voice or something mm. over the microphone because they all knew it was her. Well, they all know yeah. she's the smartest one of them. They yeah. all know they can trust her. Like there was no, there was nothing there that caused um, any reason to not trust her. So, right. like, I was like, that didn't, but I did really like cute. the fact that they made her Cassandra, because that's the whole thing of Cassandra, is that she always spoke the truth. Yeah. So, like, she was always right. So, that's kind of, you know, nice. But as soon as they heard that. it was her, they are like, oh, hi, how are you? Like, yeah, how are you? How are you? How are you? I love that. I feel like it's been a year since we last spoke. What a mystery. Yeah, it's, it's cheeky. It's a nice 
very cheeky. I know what time park Min Young's like, yes, yes, I'm fine. I know that's the time to talk. Following the boxes. She's like, okay, bye. <laughs> I like how she kept, uh, I don't know, would she say darn at Kwong Su? Something like that. Yeah. yeah. And he, so at the end, he was like, why did you keep saying that to me? <laughs> I just loved all through that episode the way she says Kwangsu Opa every time like it just, like she didn't just call him Opa or just call it like it was always Kwangsu Opa Kwangsu Opa and like just the way she says his name it was so cute go watch it it's fun yeah if, yeah, if yeah. you like fun stuff and you like basically Korean entertainment at all Bust It is a good choice well, it, is a good it feels choice. very Western, too, so I think... It's yeah, well, and it was clearly, like, made for a Western audience to enjoy, so it's like, even if you don't actually know that much about Korean entertainment, you can still derive a lot of enjoyment from the show, so... Oh, I actually wanted to mention, there's one character, that recurring character, that often will play games, and I think it's cool that they're often just culturally Korean games. Like, yeah. it's not just variety games. It's, like, Korean games that have been around for ages. And it's kind of a neat thing to see. So they'll have it in the show, but also even on the Instagram and the Twitter and stuff, they try to teach these games to the audience. Mm-hmm. And I think it's cool. So, like, yeah. there was one, and so I saw it on Twitter, and then even Instagram was like, these are the rules for the game. And so they know that these games aren't necessarily something yeah. we know about. But like, oh, it's kind of like Jax, but it's this is how you play it. And it's like, that's really neat that they go through the extra effort to yeah. Kate. And so it's like you're learning, too, through some of this. And I think it's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, it's really neat. And you're exercising your brain with puzzles, though you usually can't figure them out. You can try. <laughs> you Still can helping. put in the effort, you know, like, it never hurts to try. Exercise your brain a little bit. <laughs> And then just let Park Min Young do it for you. It's fine. Exactly. Like, <laughs> like the rest of us. I mean, yeah. The entire cast does it, so. And the entire cast will be, like, all lined up behind her, like, looking over her shoulder, like, are you done yet? <laughs> and true. she's so patient, and she'll just do it. She's never like, guys, come on. Like, she never gets frustrated. <laughs> we're just, they're never like, a, we're supposed to be working together. It's always just like, fine. Like, I'll just, <laughs> just <laughs> fine. <laughs> that was busted. Yes, it was. And we actually resumed it so quickly that I didn't even get a chance to tell you that if you love this podcast and want to support it, you can go to ko-fi.com slash certified nunas and, you know, send us a little bit of support. And even for thanks for that, we have all sorts of special fun content like outtakes and stuff from the podcast uh, that, you know, you can get as exclusive content when uh, you support the copy. Um, otherwise, uh, this has been another episode of the Certified Nunes. You can listen to us wherever you're listening to us now, but we're also on YouTube, Stitcher, Podbean, uh, Spotify, Google Play, and Apple Playlists. So basically, any air, ap- yeah, Apple Podcast. My bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> uh, so any, basically anywhere you can listen to podcasts, you can listen to us. That's, you know. But mainly our website, because it's easy. And yes, we do now have a website, certifiednews.com, which has all the episodes you can listen to directly on there, uh, and also just all sorts of fun shit. Like, we got all sorts of stuff. We got, we got lots of stuff in the works. It's going to be great. Um, so we hope that you have a fantastic week, and uh, if you take our suggestion, y'all should go watch Busted, which is on Netflix, making it pretty easy for most people to watch. Anyway... I hope you have a good week, as I'm sure all of us do. And uh, keep listening to K-pop, keep watching their Asian dramas, and have a great week. Bye! Bye!